Around 8 a.m. on Sunday, Pastor Yuan Itu showed up at St. Paul. At almost exactly the same time, Walter drove over a spike strip set by law enforcement. At that moment, right when I got out of my car, that was happening, and I thought it was a car accident. But it wasn't, and Walter quickly fled inside in the aftermath. For the next four hours, he remained sealed inside. Once they realized no one else was with him, Itu and other church members tried their best to deal with the chaos. We're just trying to get pump as much information out there to our members to not come and be safe and to make sure that everybody's okay and not putting themselves in danger and giving the police what they needed information-wise. But even on a difficult day, there's still some rays of hope shining through. A local family was supposed to have a baptism at St. Paul for their daughter on Sunday morning. However, when the night sermon was moved to First Christian Church, they managed to make it work. E2 told me that experience is what he hopes congregation members remember most about the day. The lasting memory of this day for that family in our congregation is not the drama and the fear that happened in the morning, but the joy that we had originally intended for that day with a baby's baptism. In Winterset, this is Carson J.S. Reichardt for Local 5 News. We are Iowa. Walter is currently being held in the Polk County Jail. He faces charges in Iowa of second degree theft and fleeing from police. He's also a person of interest in a double homicide in Omaha.